This is, what I think at least, the best football in the world. It's called the Select Brilliant Super and it's absolutely amazing, but it's also 150-ish euros. And that is a lot of money. So how about today instead, we take a look at what I think is the best value for money football that you can buy. It's called the Select Numero 10. And apart from being brilliant, it's also only 53 euros. So let's do this. But Jay, hold, 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 hold on a bit. What is this Select you're talking about? Well, actually, it's a Danish ball manufacturer that also makes a lot of other sports equipment, but they really specialize, amongst other things, in making footballs. And while they might go a bit under the radar compared to Nike, Adidas and Puma and some other big brands, I do think, even when you take off the really biased Danish glasses, that they are some of the best when it comes to making high-quality footballs, both match balls, but also the cheaper ones. And the Numo Jeff here is a bit of a select legend. It's been around forever, basically, as the more budget-friendly, slightly cheaper, more generally appealing version of the Select Brilliant Super, the high-end match ball. It's a good ball. And I know that words like budget-friendly and cheaper doesn't necessarily sound that appealing. But actually, the Numero Death is a lot better than the price alone suggests. For instance, you get more or less the same diamond texture on the upper as you find on the top ball, the Select Brilliant Super. You have a two millimeter foam backing to give this relatively nice and soft touch. And then on the inside, you have the so-called zero wing bladder that you also find in the Select Brilliant Super to give you this optimal balance and roundness and liveliness. Liveliness, is that, is that a word? Well, it's relatively lively, so you know what I mean. And also the Numero Jets has this FIFA basic rating, which shows that the ball passes all the basic requirements of size and weight and circumference that a football needs to have. The thing is that most footballs could probably pass it. So, you know, is it bad? No. Did earlier versions of the Numero Jets then have higher ratings? Well, yeah, they did. They had international match ball standard. They had FIFA quality pro, some of them did. Is, is this worse then? Well, not necessarily at least, because the thing is you have to pay FIFA to make these tests. So I imagine that Select just decided to not pay FIFA to do the most expensive, highest FIFA quality pro rating and just went for this instead to keep the price down. <laughs> Could it pass higher ratings? I reckon, because it feels a lot better, as I said, than the price suggests. Even when you disregard the whole price and value for money aspect, the Numero Jeff just does a lot of things right. It has a really solid bounce off the ground, and you can also tell that the ball likes to move, especially on the ground when you do short passes. It has this pass it, passes, short passes. It has this really very pingy, zingy response to it when you strike it well. And also, I mentioned it was a lively football. It definitely likes to move through the air. It has a very nice, relatively fast, direct flight pattern. But it never feels as if you're losing control. So it has this level of reliability that I really enjoy in a football. And I've yet to see the ball go rogue and just do whatever it wants. Maybe I'm not good enough to strike it like that, but it has that combination of speed and reliability to it. What I also enjoy is that off the ball feeling you get when you strike it. That immediate softness you feel when you strike it, that very elegant sensation, which then translates into a more responsive, firm feel as the power connects with the bladder. And it gives this, again, the balance I'm talking about that I would normally expect to see in match balls that are much more expensive. So for 53 euros, that's a pretty big win. So as you can probably tell, Numero Jeff has a lot going for it. And because of that, it's also one of the most popular balls that we sell to clubs. When they buy bulk, they want value for money. And this is value for money. And yeah, that does all sound really good. And as if the Numero Jeff might be the steal of the, well, scratch that. It, it is probably the steal of the century. But it's still not perfect. And as we Danes would say, the trees don't grow all the way into heaven. Because it, obviously it could be better. It's 53 euros, you get what you pay for. And you can also feel why this is not, in fact, a 150 euro football. Because one of the things that strike me is 
the weighted feel of the ball. When you really put your laces through, you feel that it doesn't quite have that same firm, oomphy, really super responsive feel as the more expensive match balls. And also, that balance between softness and power when you strike it is not as dynamic as, for instance, the Select Brilliant Super, which is, for me, the golden standard. So it does a lot of the same things, but just not to the same really nice extent as the more expensive match balls, which, I mean, it makes sense because 53 euros and all. And one final thing is that this bad boy is hand-stitched, which is super cool, but it also means that if you play in the wet or in the rain, it's gonna absorb a bit more water and be a little bit more heavy compared to footballs that have been thermal-bonded. That means glued together. It's not a disaster and in no means a problem, but it's just something you need to know. You get what you pay for. Well, in this instance, you get more than what you pay for, but you get what you pay for. It's a rule of life. So, no. The Select Numero 10 is not on the level of the Select Brilliant Super. It's just the way it is. It's still a great football, and I reckon that for roughly a third of the price of the Brilliant Super, it's a really great football. And I actually think that it might fool some players into thinking that this is indeed a high-level match ball. Is that good? So if you are on a budget, but you still want the best football possible, well, this is the way. And you can, of course, buy it in the link to Unisport right over there. But what is the best football that you've ever played with? Let me know, as always, in the comment section right down below. Remember to subscribe to the channel with the notifications on. And if you want to learn some new skills with either this football or any other football, basically, hit the playlist in the link right down there. With those words, I'll be signing off. Adieu, Okay. <laughs>